Depression can affect both your mental and physical health, from feelings of sadness to aches and pains. You hear people saying, oh, it's all in the mind, or snap out of it to people with depression. Treatment usually focuses on brain chemistry, but some British doctors say that future medication may focus on the size of the brain itself because they found that parts of the brain shrink in people suffering clinical depression. What we do know is that these changes are definitely there when people are depressed. But it could be reversed. So there's some evidence that suggests that when you recover from depression, at least some of these changes may go back to normal. New medication would help restore lost cells. Then by replacing those neurons, we hope that perhaps you'll get sy symptomatic changes in patients with depression. Following treatment, doctors say they can actually see change in parts of the brain responsible for memory, planning, judgment, and emotion. There's some evidence that to to suggest that those new uh, neurons that start uh, being born in that area of the brain are actually stimulated by antidepressants. So it may be that antidepressants are working in a way that we didn't know already. And it may be that once we know exactly uh, what area of the brain can target, uh, how we can target that area, we can design better treatments with less side effects that really target um, that region of the brain. Still, their studies haven't revealed whether patients with depression are born with these differences or whether they were caused by the depression itself, something they hope to discover with more research. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.